from its early days, Fao understood this one essential truth. Soil is life, and land has its foundation. Land and soil are where food begins. With this in mind, Fao's first global conference in 1945 delivered a clear message. Our land only holds a thin crust of soil, fragile and finite. Much is unsuitable, but what remains feed almost everything. So how well and for how long it continues to feed us all depends on how we use and manage our land. This message became the heart of FAO's mission. From the day one, FAO worked to produce more food with soils on land. Experts were soon on the ground, helping countries rebuild. The first World Census of Agriculture helped us understand farming systems across 81 countries, and in the 60s, the Freedom From Hunger campaign and FAO's fertilizer program empowered farmers and led to crop yields doubling in over 20 countries. Mapping soils became a global priority. In 1961, FAO and UNESCO created the soil map of the world using the information from 10,000 maps, laying a future foundation for land use planning. Later that decade, FAO and the International Labour Organization organized the World Land Reform Conference, calling for integrated reforms to drive social and economic progress. In the 1970s, in the framework for land evaluation, global agroecological zoning gave farmers a new way to match crops to land and raise the alarm on desertification by mapping global risk areas. The 1981 World Soil Charter will set enduring principles for sustainable soil management, urging long-term care over short-term gain. In the next decade, FAO created tools to measure and manage land productivity. Tools still used worldwide today. It built with partners a global network promoting sustainable land management, which has grown into the World Overview of Conservation Approaches and Technologies database containing over 2,000 best practices from 136 countries. In 2006, FAO launched the Harmonized World Soil Database, offering even more precise information at a global level and the Land Degradation Assessment in Drylands, which provided practical tools to manage fragile land under pressure. More recently, the organization has launched key reports warning us that the land, soil and water resources we rely on to feed the future are at risk. In 2012, a major milestone was achieved as FAO launched the Global Soil Partnership, bringing together farmers, scientists and policymakers to strengthen the global soil community. That same year, global guidelines on the governance of tenure of land, fisheries and forest were also endorsed by the Committee on World Food Security. Momentum continued. The UN declared 2015 as the International Year of Soils and World Soil Day, December 5th, has since become one of the UN most celebrated observances. New knowledge products followed landmark reports on soil health, global soil management guidelines and a code of conduct for fertilizer use. As recently as 2024, a major decision was made to halt and reverse land and soil degradation in agriculture. Today, FAO's global programs support countries with integrated land use planning, soil mapping, restoration, recarbonization and sustainable management. For nearly 80 years, FAO has stood with its members and partners leading global action from crisis to sustainability, from science to solutions, for better production, better nutrition, a better environment and a better life, leaving no one behind.